Hi, y'all, if you're joining me. Let me see if I can get to where I want to be. I have wanted to be in here all day long working on these projects, and there's been just crisis after crisis in my regular work day that I've been working on. Let me see if I can turn that light down a little bit. Ooh, that's bright. How about that? There we go. I have started on this. I've been working on these for a little while. This is where I had the... Um, wet distress fail a while back and have moved on to plan B and I think I'm going to be okay with it still not 100% sure I'm going to leave the flowers actually a couple of people here have really liked those I don't exactly know whether I should put another flower on top if you have an opinion on this let me know um, I'm going to show you over here on this side same thing as I did on this other side I'm just going to sort of blend a little bit with the plum crazy I really wish I could still use some more of this amethyst in there like I originally intended. I'm not sure what I'll do with that. I may dry brush a little of it along with this uh, vintage duck egg, but I've not used the top coat yet. I now have three coats of the base coat of the copper, and I guess I actually could have put another one if I wanted to, but I'm done doing that. I'm, I want to do this. <laughs> I want to see it really bad, so that's what I'm going to do but if you come on and you look at this tell me what you think should I put another like little batch of flowers up here on top or should I just blend in a little bit of the plum and, and make it not have that much going on on the top I mean I know I'm going to use their gator hide on top because somebody's probably going to use these you know uh, beside their bed or beside their sofa or something like that and the tops will get a lot of use so it's going to need a lot of protection because I originally just thought oh this really would look good with especially this part through here, the dry brushing part with some wax. But I know I'm, I need to use gator hide on the top and probably on the edges of the drawers too. I mentioned yesterday that I tried to uh, see if I could use some of this copper on top of the shiny gold knob that was on here and that was a fail so hopefully uh friday i have to go to lafayette uh louisiana and hopefully i'll get to stop by hobby lobby and they'll have knobs on sale and i can pick up a couple of for this and then some for the uh project at home where i'm uh redoing our guest bedroom but anyway i'm going to put this uh copper top coat on here i'm excited to see if it does indeed look metallic and then i'm going to do the plum over here but where i would like your input is do you think it would look better to go ahead and have a couple of, you know two or three flowers here on top or just do a blending on top help me decide on that and i'm not going to do anything to the top today and the other one let's see if i can twist it around here real quick let you see the other one is now ready, and this is not bad. I could have added just some plum to these drawers and not even done those flowers. I just got uh, frustrated and threw flowers on there whenever my plan A didn't work, and I wanted to move on to plan B, but I actually kind of like this too. But I'm going to go ahead and turn this around a little bit more and show you the pumpkins from yesterday. I really wanted to work on these today, but it's going to be next week because I'm going to be out for the rest of the week. But uh, here's how... It's hard to tell these lights. This is so cray cray here. Let's see if I can turn. Ooh, that's up. Nope, I can't turn it down any more than that. But this is a beautiful uh, sort of a light teal color. I'm going to put like one of the green ones woo, next to this one. And you can see maybe a little bit of the difference in the color. So obviously they still need another coat of paint on them. And But I'm going to make more of the... Uh, the pretty little one. Here's a white one with one of the blue ones. Maybe you can tell a bit of the difference. Um, I'm going to put the decorative pieces on there and make them all fancy, so I'm still working on that. Here's how this one dried where I did the messiness on the stem along with a little bit of gold. So I'm going to work on those next week too. I'll be excited from now until Monday, so I'll be raring to go when I get back to work Monday to do that, but today back to what we were doing man i wish i would have left them alone like that one over there but it has flowers so that means somebody wants it with flowers and this will be ideally for them i always believe that everything happens for a reason and and the person there's going to be somebody coming in here particularly looking and wishing that they had purple nightstands with <laughs> with flowers on them or it wouldn't have happened. Let's see if this... It really does not appear 
from looking at it in the container and looking at it how it's going on, it really doesn't look any different than the base coat looked to me. Um, I'm using what's on the little lid here first, and then I'll dig a little farther down. Make sure that you know that's the little something something that's extra on this one too is for the uh, the leaves to have just that little bit of metallic metallics are really in right now and that's going to continue to be in for a little while so if you're a person who doesn't like too much in the over-the-top metallic look just having the little bit of metallics on here in the leaves maybe something that you could try on your piece at home and if you do try that or you're using metallics on any piece at home I wish you would uh, share a picture with me or tell me about it tell me how your experience is and how you've uh, liked doing it but I think it looks pretty cool to have a little bit of the uh, metallic on here so I'm trying to get this part done and then I'm excited to get the, I'm gonna use my squirt bottle with the water and the Dixie Bell Plum Crazy and one of my uh, paint pixie brushes and hopefully that part will go pretty fast to go down the sides there. And on the top, unless somebody tells me, no, wait, do a flower on top. And then I will do a flower on top. I hadn't even considered until about five minutes ago doing a flower on top and I don't want it to be too crazy busy but you know if that would just set them off and make them uh, be uh, more I don't know why golden girls are on my mind but more What's the word? What's a good word for that? More in tune with what they're supposed to be with having the flowers on top. If that would be the finishing touch or the piece that, you know, sort of tops it off and, and makes it look done, then that's definitely what I need to do is put flowers on the, on the top. And your opinion definitely matters to me because that's what I'm here for here to help us all make a little bit better decisions together. Try something and to where you'll either go, man, that was cool. I am anxious to try that too. Or you should have seen what she done today. Look at that gaudy mess. I would never do that. <laughs> That's okay with me too. That is okay with me too. always reaching the what is the end of my work day which is supposed to be 2 30 and wanting to run in here and do one more thing real quick but I was so excited this morning I was like man everybody's gonna be tired of me today because I'm gonna go in there and completely finish those tables I'm gonna completely finish all those pumpkins and then I got in two new uh, tabletop camera holders for people who are other creatives who have a creative business then they're doing online tutorials and things like that too um, I didn't on purpose get two but I did get and then it's sort of on purpose I ordered one and didn't realize that it wasn't prime and it was taking entirely too long to get here so I ordered another one that was prime and I uh, it came in yesterday and then the the first one came in today and so I have not even opened either box and I'm going to compare the first one that I ordered that I thought was prime but apparently wasn't was $37 which I think is a reasonable price to pay for a tabletop camera holder to where whenever I'm doing canvases and things that the camera and the picture will be able to go right over it and y'all will be able to see a little bit better what's you know going on just with my hands instead of coming in from the side and I think, you know, 30 something bucks is a reasonable price for that. Well, it took too long to get here and I got impatient, so I ordered the $99 one. And uh, so I'm gonna open those boxes. I'm gonna bring them both home with me tonight and I'm gonna open those boxes 
live and we will compare the difference in quality between the two. That way if you're considering buying something like that too, you will be able to see what's inside one of those boxes and know whether the you know there's enough difference in quality to justify paying ninety nine dollars for the thing. I've been putting that off for uh months because I didn't think I could justify the ninety nine dollars and uh then I thought I need that because I'm you know trying to do cards and all that stuff where y'all can uh watch and maybe get motivated to to do some of that on your own and I can't get a good camera angle to where y'all can get a good video of it so I thought I would be a better service if I had that so I ordered it and then apparently the $37 one came from China and I, I always believe in being a you know, buying American first, and I never would have done that had I realized. So apparently, that was one of those midnight or later purchases that I decided I had to have when I couldn't sleep, and I didn't pay attention to it not being uh, prime and it not being made in America. And I will open those both tonight. That's the same thing I did a review a while back. If you're watching this and you're thinking about that review. I did a review a while back on what are called uh, ring lights. That's what holds my camera and makes that bright light up there in the corner. Uh, and they're very popular in this online creative industry. And I have one expensive one and one cheap one. And I think the... Uh, the expensive one may be a tad higher quality, but not enough to justify the difference in price on that, so we'll see. And I, you know, if the cheap one is a, a decent buy, I may keep it too, so that I can have one of those for here at work and one for at home. This is looking very metallic. This this is, um, I'm a little bit impressed with uh, the looks of this Dixie Bell metallic copper top coat. And I may just buy wood knobs and paint them copper. That would be simple. Okay. I'm not going to get carried away because I was also, I got out this little brush and I'm thinking, oh, I might just put a little bit of plum right there and I might just put a little bit of plum right there. Maybe a little bit of plum right here and a little bit of plum right here. And then I'm going to have plum all over this thing. So let me just get over here and get where I said I was going to it and get to doing it and put my apron on. I've done knocked over this whole bucket of water. Water all over the floor getting ready to do this live real quick before I go home and uh, show y'all this and I spill a bucket of water all over the floor so then I had to go to the laundry room and get a towel, come in here mop up all my mess and run a little behind. So can you see this? For, yeah, I think you can see it really good. This is my squirt bottle. I'm going to squirt it down first thing. And that's going to give me a little bit of a wet surface to work with. And you don't have to do that, but that's what I'm comfortable with. So that's what I'm going to do. And I'm using one of my, uh, the small, the number eight paint pixie brush. And the Dixie Bell Plum Crazy. Just sort of tap it into the paint that's stuck in that lid insert. And I don't want it to show a whole lot, but I have, you know, I've, I've got to get a little bit on here to be able to do the blending. That's so pretty to me. I'm such a, this is more of like a fuchsia to me, but I'm such a purple lover, and I love the deep purple, the aubergine that I have on here underneath, uh, mixed in with this, and I'm wanting the lightness of this to come through a good bit here in the center, but I'm also going to, while I have some on my brush, I'm going to go ahead and go up on this side, and then I'm going to come up from the bottom on this side, and just sort of tie it in. And I'm going to go 
in this little corner just a tad, in this corner just a tad. Just keep it blending well. Try to knock some of that off my brush a little bit. I'm just trying to rub it in. I'm use this rag and wipe some of it off. Try to speed up the process a little bit here. Come this off my brush. So much paint. Try to squeeze it out a little bit. I especially want to make sure that's good and blended. On the bottom, this one up, make sure that's good and blended. Back at it again. I wish the camera could go around to the other side to where you can see how much this is already blended over there. get everything we wish for, do we? This is so therapeutic. I'm going to grab a, one of my bigger brushes and go over it kind of dry to see if that's going to take some of that off for me, help speed up this process some more. So even though I've made these edges rounded, they don't necessarily, they're not going to be rounded whenever I'm done. Let me go back to the damp. The damp smearing. Trying to keep these edges softened a little bit. Now we're starting to get where we need to be. I'm hoping to be able to come on here in a little while and tell y'all about a surprise for tomorrow, another field trip, but I'm waiting to hear back from the place that I'm wanting to travel to, and I haven't heard back from them yet, so I don't want to announce anything and then disappoint anybody if, you know, if they're not going to be available. I rinsed off my brush some more and I'm going to mist around these edges a little more so that I can blend just a tad more around there. Using this dry brush to kind of coming up from the bottom now because I've got so big with it and down from the top and I'm wanting there to be less plum toward the outer edges and less plum from the top to the bottom so now I'm going to I'm going to go around here a few more times in the center and it gets this rubbed in as much as I want it this is where I want it to be the heaviest and then I'm going to try to use the other brush, dampen the outer edges, and see if I'm going to be removing some more of that paint as I go. Down, down, down from the top, up, up, up from the bottom. Slapping it on there. Now it's almost beginning to disappear and fade into the background, and that's the look I'm going for. So we used a wet brush and a dry brush, a Mr. Bottle, and a rag. Now I'm using this dry brush to sort of, and the dampened outer areas to sort of erase 
and blend in. Outer edges of the plum and just leave it kind of shining through the middle and that's exactly the way I wanted it. How often does that happen? Okay, you see where I'm coming up? Up from the bottom on this side because I want a hint of it down there. And this one's already good, but it did down come down from here because I wanted that to be like that. That's exactly how I want that. That's exactly what I want on top too. And I'm so nervous because I was hoping to get some input from y'all as to whether uh, to do the top or whether to put flowers. But I'm going to put this up there anyway. So even if we do put flowers up there, it will, uh, you know, it will have this underneath it. Just a little bit there. Didn't dampen very much, or didn't dampen at all, but it's damp now. By golly, it's damp now. Can you see that? Yeah. You can see a little bit of that amethyst that I put on the inner portion of that before I had the wet distress fail the first time shining through and I love that. That's exactly what I wanted. Grab this dry one. Well, that was simple compared to the side. And I don't exactly know what to do right here but I, I know that I wanted originally a tad more of this and I probably got a little bit too much on there so I'm gonna stamp on a little bit of that back out on my rag I'm gonna mist this just a tad offload a little and just come right here I don't want to go over that part where I just uh, added that copper, but just like I said I probably was going to do, I'm going to add just a tad of that plum right here to this inner corner, or upper corner, and a tad right here. You're really not going to be able to see it, but it will have a little bit of lightness through there. exactly what I wanted. I don't um, exactly love this that I did yesterday. So while there's a tad of the dried plum on my brush, I'm just going to tap over that blue just enough to weaken it down a little bit. much vintage duck egg for me. I'll mute that down and add just a little bit of that palm on top of it. Kind of tie it back in and not be quite so uh, distinctly dry brushed. same thing to the part that I just told you I loved over here a while ago because I love it more than the other one now. That's a little heavy handed on the um,
happens when you get in a hurry. This one is just, unless a flower goes on top, is ready. And, uh, and I went, here it is. See if I can use this to pull it out and see how it looks with the, because uh, I just threw the drawers back in because I thought I was going to, uh, you know, use this one as a model to paint the other one. But see that vintage duck egg ties back in right there because I painted the inside and the outside of the drawers with that. As I still, I mean, obviously this is a really old set. I want it to still look old. I don't want it to look new. I do want it to still look old and vintage. But, um, yeah. Please tell me what you think. Should I put flowers up here on top? Or should I just leave it faded like that and this is busy enough? Because I'm feeling like it needs flowers and, and that just now happened. I didn't think that a day ago. So, let me know what you think. I appreciate you. I think I'm going to go ahead while I have this plum out and do this one over here. And if you want to see the comparison of the two table lights, I'll be on later tonight. Thanks. Bye.